Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the theme park evangelist. I'm with TJ in his car. He's taking me to the airport. This is it. This is my last real, really official day in Florida. Yesterday technically was, but you can say today is. I-4, thankfully, is not bad right now. Getting ready to leave Polk County, probably for quite some time. May not even come back again, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, uh... When I uh, start up the camera again, you'll be looking right at I-4. It's been quite a journey, as you heard last night. So, very blessed and thankful that TJ and I got to do as much as we did. Uh, very blessed and thankful how much Vanita did. I'm sorry that Kay, um, you know, had to make the choices that she did last week, but hopefully she'll learn from it, and maybe we'll see each other again in the future. All right, guys, here we go. I-4 or bus. But I force moving because we have a bit of a slow start. Been a crazy morning, you know. This is it. I'm gonna do my uh, conclusion to the uh, TJ portion of the vlog now, but not the conclusion of my vlog overall. TJ, it's been a pleasure. You were extremely helpful this past week. You were very friendly. You were an amazing host. I uh, hope I did enough for you. In some ways, I felt like I didn't do enough for you. You uh, did a lot. I mean, there. No, words can't describe uh, how helpful you were. I'm just very sad that uh, Kay, uh, you know, didn't do better. And I really look forward to seeing you again. It was a very enjoyable flight. Or sorry, well, not flight. It was a very enjoyable time with you. 
So I've officially made it to the other side of the airport, and of course it makes sense that uh, the actual airport itself would have the uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge um, theming for the monorails because these are for people flying into Orlando. It's like, go oh, see Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And yes, as you guys saw, I did not once see it, and it's just one of those unfortunate things about having family that works for Disney and not being able to afford to uh, be able to buy a Disney ticket. And even then, as you guys saw Saturday afternoon, when I was at Hollywood Studios just to go on the uh, Skyliner, the uh, parking lot was insane. I was like, what? Like, there are so many people over here. It's like, yeah, maybe it's a good thing I didn't go. And then of course I met that one group of people that literally just got off Rise of the Resistance. I'm very happy for them, I really am, and I told them so. So yeah, going straight ahead to uh, gate 82. Thankfully, once I get beyond the sign over here, I don't have too much further to go. I don't usually get to film in airports, so this is kind of exciting. And not to mention, I don't know when I'm gonna be traveling again. As it is, even if I do travel again later this year, I'm driving like, basically I figured out if I can help it, I would like to fly to Orlando, but I don't know how much longer it's gonna happen. Especially if TJ does end up moving like he keeps saying he's going to. Because he, he's been talking about it for months now. So, we'll see what happens. And honestly, if it wasn't for TJ, there is no way I was going to get around. So, unfortunately, one of the um, sad situations about living where I am and having to travel all the way I have to is I may or may not be able to keep flying down. I may have to drive down more often. Who knows? Now I gotta find gate 82, that's always fun. I'm sure if it's not over here, it's gonna be up ahead a little bit. So just gonna keep looking. Found it. Flight 1109, departure time 420. On time, at least it's on time. Weather here is good, but where I'm going to, it's gonna be raining, typical. Here we go again. I'm not used to going down a ramp and then going to the plane. Ooh, warm weather. No, oh, last time I'm going to feel it. The plane to the plane to the beautiful plane. Uh oh, there's a whole bit of up, up ahead. Oh, that's not a very good thing. Yeah, look. Yeah. Look. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
wasn't able to film any of the flight except for maybe 30 seconds and just to show you guys the in-flight entertainment. And that was mainly because of the fact that a, a passenger accidentally took my seat. I don't know if it was, I mean, it might have been intentional, but I'm going to go with accident because I was like, well, it happens. I've accidentally sat in a place I wasn't supposed to before and I didn't realize it because there was an empty seat in cover plus so I just went along with it I'm like oh well whatever it is what it is and uh, of course the weather up here is cold and wet as I expected it to be oh I should also mention that um, Wi-Fi went out on the plane uh, uh, relatively quickly is the word I'm looking for. So I was like, oh, that's also fun too. I can't hear it that well right now because uh, the uh, pressure from the uh, airplane was bothering me a little more than usual. Oh yeah, that sky is very dark. Yeah, not really surprised by that. So yeah, um, definitely feels like home now. It took me leaving uh, Kentucky and going to Florida to help me finally realize that Kentucky is truly home. And sometimes you got to do that kind of stuff, but I'll talk more about that in another vlog, like an at-home vlog. Unfortunately, guys, uh, my YouTube channel is not going to be as exciting. Exciting, though, I just got up to 98 subscribers, so... Anyhow, um, yeah, I'm going to try to make things interesting. I'll try to do as many interesting... Um, at home, interesting and exciting at home vlog that I possibly can over the uh, next month until Kings Island reopens and then we'll have some real fun. Alright, here's the monorail. So, gotta go get on. So it turns out that you don't actually take the monorail to bag claim. You only take it from bag claim or whatever, just below us to the uh, gates, which is where I was at. And this is a much easier airport to uh, find your luggage at, unlike the Berlin International Airport. I was, got lost, I hadn't flown in there in so long. So that was kind of embarrassing. So we'll have to see if it, the suitcase is already here. Everything's just kind of going around the carousel. This is where I uh, picked up TJ about six months ago, as you guys know. So while I'm waiting for my suitcase, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Uh, definitely a very exciting trip, uh, very adventurous. I uh, hope to go back sooner than later. Not that it's gonna happen or anything. You know, money. This uh, trip already cost me hundreds of dollars and I didn't get to see Star's Galaxy Z. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next vlog, which unfortunately is going to be a boring, dull at-home vlog, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm cool to go back to um, boring and dull. Oh, my suitcase is here. Yay! That's what I just found out. I guess not from the app. Yeah, I'm good to go back to boring and dull for a little while. Anyway, until then, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ. Through Christ, your strength as you have a great day, or night, I should say, a peace out.